simply say this much. Soros and Stein are two tribal names you can trust, that you can trust in terms of destabilizing the American governmental process and the American electoral process in the interest of helping the same kinds of forces that Mr. Soros is uh, involved with in terms of Black Lives Matter, MoveOn.org, uh, in terms of his Open Society Initiative, and so forth and so on. The fact of the matter is that this entire thing smells. It's very clear that when Jill Stein can suddenly raise this kind of money, uh, that there is someone other than her Green Party grassroots supporters uh, that is behind this effort. Uh, this can only help. Uh, the forces uh, that are trying to delegitimize this election. Uh, the Constitution of the United States is very clear about the Electoral College, whether we like it or not. And the fact of the matter is that it is abundantly clear that when we look at what has been going on in American streets since this election and the kinds of people that CNN and MSNBC uh, are promoting in terms of their coverage of these people on the streets uh, to destabilize this process, it's quite obvious that Jill Stein, in my view, uh, is a player, a major player for a hidden cabal that continues to manipulate results uh, that it cannot deal with in terms of the way that the election actually went. This is also an attempt on the part of Soros and company, in my judgment, to provide a further legitimization of a mainstream media and a mainstream media conglomerate to the tune of six conglomerates that were trying as best they could to get Hillary Clinton elected president of the United States. Is Donald Trump a messianic figure? No, he clearly isn't. Trump may, in fact, may be co-opted by these same Zionist neoconservative elements that quite clearly preferred Clinton to be the president of the United States. But the fact is that Trump was obviously elected according to the system that we have. The Democrats will not concede the fact that white working class Democrats in places like Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Wisconsin defected to Trump because of Clinton's clear support, clear support of going to war with Russia over Syria, Clinton's clear support of uh, these globalist trade treaties that have cost these people their jobs and the fact that these working-class Democrats in those states concluded the correct conclusion, and that is that Hillary Clinton is a crook. So Jill Stein and George Soros are, in fact, two tribal names that you can trust. The American people should see through this charade and should see through this fraud and understand that their country has been targeted by the same forces that are trying to destabilize Vladimir Putin's Russia illegitimately, that have, in fact, been at work to overthrow President Assad in Syria, and that have been involved in the support of some of the worst crimes, crimes that the United States government uh, has committed in the Middle East and in Eastern Europe and in Serbia and in the Ukraine in this last decade and a half. Again, Soros and Stein are two tribal names you can trust. The purpose here is to establish um, voting integrity, to verify our votes, and to ensure that in this election and going forward that we can count on the accuracy and the security and the um, veracity of our votes. We need to know that the voting result is actually what we intended and that the system has not been tampered with or compromised.